Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, I hope you are all doing well. Today is going to be my October 2022 budget and um, cash envelope stuffing with me. And if you guys watched my video last week you'll know that I had a bit of a cold so the video actually ended up going up late. That cold sort of went away and now it has been replaced with the plague itself. Covid, um, so I'm confined to my bedroom and I have been since about half past seven this morning when my test came back positive so I'm off work for a few days because I'm not allowed to go in because of protocol and everything and I work with food, I'm in a supermarket, it's going to be very very busy um, so I'm not allowed in I think they said for five days <laughs> so I'm just gonna try and film this even though I sound a little bit rough if I just really try and enunciate all of my words then hopefully we should be able to get through this. My dad, bless him, I sent him up to the post office earlier to get my cash out to do my cash envelopes just so I could still film the video, otherwise this is going to be like really late going up. I know I did a late video last week and I didn't want it to be two weeks in a row even though I'm sure you'd all understand, you know, obviously with having Covid but I keep coughing and sneezing so sorry if the video is a little bit jumpy with all like the jump cuts because I'm going to obviously edit out anything of me coughing and everything so um yeah and I have asthma so it's also like taking a little bit of a toll on my lungs so I'm not very great with my breathing at the minute so sorry if I sound like I'm wheezing um but I'm gonna try and get through this but I will also just let you know if you're one of the people that come to my channel to watch the cash stuffing or just the savings challenges Today's just going to be the budget and the cash stuffing. There is no money going into my savings challenges this month because I just don't have the money for it. Um, and I will explain that as we continue because a lot of my finances are going to be changing in the next couple of months. And now that some people know the situation, because I've said to you guys before I couldn't say anything to you guys until other people knew, then people have now been notified so I can now tell you guys. But it's just straight away I'm just going to put a zero where my savings challenges is. And yeah, so I'm going to pop this in half, zoom you in and we'll get going. And as soon as I've filmed this, I'm gonna edit it, save it, get it uploaded while I'm getting ready for bed. And I'm gonna go to bed even though it's only like quarter to seven at the minute, I'm just so exhausted. <laughs> right, so this month I got 1,107 pounds and 13 pence. 89 pounds of that is for my bills and subscriptions. If you've been here a while, you'll know why my bills and subscriptions are low. If not, Live With Dad doesn't charge me rent. If you want a bigger explanation, check out last month's video. <laughs> my work food is only going to get 10 pounds because I'm off for a few days, as I just said, because I've got COVID. And I've also got a week off in November, even though it technically would be next month's pay. Um, I've still got like a four or five pounds on there so I'm going to do ten and if I need more then I'll do more and my chase card is going to get a hundred so that is just for me to spend on whatever I want just like you know a game digital downloads stuff like that <laughs> in my savings I'm going to do 35 pounds into my general I've been really bad this month and I've taken a lot of money out of my general so that's what happens when you're sick apparently I just keep spending <laughs> so that wasn't great my holiday is only going to get 50 now it has been fully funded since I think June or July's pay, um, the full amount that I needed for Florida, but I just want to keep putting just a little in there so I do have some extra in there ready for a, you know, for it to go towards another holiday. So I'm just going to do 50 just so it goes up to 3,900, I'll try and pop another 100 in next month, um, budget depending. Just so I'm up to the 4,000 and that way I'm completely covered and I should have about 500 extra just in case, but we'll see. My retirement is going to get 30. Gifts is also going to get 30. And then emergency is getting 170. Now, I don't really put a lot into emergency, but I'm going to tell you for why. As I said, I haven't been able to tell you guys what's going on with my finances for a while because other people needed to know stuff, but... In December I am leaving my job and I'm going full time with my virtual assistant business. Now at the minute I've only had a very, very, very small amount of income from my virtual assistant business, like less than £100. But it's something I really want to do and I'm struggling to be able to do that, the marketing, getting stuff out 
but get the word out while I'm also doing my full-time job and it's not something I enjoy anymore. I love my colleagues dearly, or well, most of them, and I just, unfortunately, the, the job itself, I can't do it anymore. Like, I really wanted to leave last year, but I've stuck it out. February, the ceiling in a back room fell down on me. I've had floods, like the ceiling was itch dripping hot water for nearly six, seven months. That caused the ceiling to fall down, and then because of the holes in the ceiling, pigeons kept coming through. We've had the pipes for the drainage system all backed up and it's just, we haven't had one day in the last 14, 15 months where we haven't had something go wrong. Like, we've had two of my ticket machines have been broken since like summer last year in February. So out of three of my machines, I've now got one. We've hardly got the packaging in. They keep sending in the wrong stuff and I know it's not just my store. There's other stores where stuff like this is happening. We're struggling for staff. But yeah, I'm going to be quitting. So I've got this pay. I've got another one in November. I'll then have another couple of weeks of work and then I'll be leaving. And then I'll have a very, very small payday as my final payday in December. But we're going to give this a try. So the only money I will have, unless I start bringing in a lot more for my virtual assistant business, will be whatever is in my emergency fund. So I'm trying to get that up to about three months worth of money so I think I need just under 3,500 so I've chucked a load in now I'm going to try and put another load in next month and then whatever I've got left from December but if it gets to maybe say mid-February and my business really isn't taking off I'm just not getting the money that I need I'm going to go find myself like a part-time job elsewhere and just muddle on through but yeah I, I can't work at my current business anymore I just can't do it it's I like the job, like I really do like the whole cheeses and stuff, like I'm really good at my cheese and I know how to do my job fantastically, it's just the atmosphere and I'll admit there's been many times in the last year I've got in my car after a shift and just had a complete breakdown of tears or I've been getting ready for work and I'm in tears getting ready for work because I just don't want to go in and I've pushed through that for over a year but it's just... The last few months this has taken a complete toll, especially with my foot injury and work not being too fantastic about it. I mean, they've done what they can, but it, it's almost, I get the feeling that some of them don't believe I've had the injury, even though I've got the x-rays and the MRI scans to prove it, but not here nor the point, but I just want to leave and I want to try and be my own boss, bring my own money in, and I know it's not going to be a lot of money for a really long time, but I just need to give it a try, so... That's what I'm going to do. So all the money I have in my emergency fund will now be solely for me to live off of. And obviously if anything happens to my car in its MOT or service in January and a lot of that has to come out, I'm pretty fucked. But we're going to just do what we can. But it does mean that I won't be working for like three, the last three weeks of December. So I'll actually get to enjoy my Christmas. I won't have to worry about stupid customer orders or doing the midnight finish at work and then being back in at like seven in the morning. I won't have to be going out in the cold. I won't be driving my car as much, which will save me a lot of money. And I think it will just do me a world of good, to be honest. Like my physical health is getting so bad being there. And I think I've actually caught COVID from one of my colleagues. So <laughs> because we're in such a cold environment, it's a sort of manifesting. So I shouldn't laugh about it, but yep, yeah, so that's what's happening. I'm quitting I think I've got like 40 something days left so most of my colleagues knew before I had to tell management because management were trying to plan out Christmas week and I was like I'm kind of gonna have to tell them I can't put it off any longer I was gonna wait for another couple of weeks because I wanted to know the exact day I was definitely gonna finish because I was trying to work it out like financially but yeah I've decided now it's gonna be like December 1st 2nd 3rd somewhere around about there so yeah that's happened um so yeah, I'm going to be quitting. And I've been there for 11 and a half years. It's the first job I've ever had. I've never worked anywhere else. I've had two different roles within the company. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm out. So that's going to be interesting. So wish me luck and we'll see what happens with my finances. So there is a chance that these videos might not be happening for a really long time either. But I just need to try something different. And if I don't try, I don't know. And... The worst that can happen is I fail and I have to get a job somewhere else that isn't my current workplace. So I'm going to give it a go, see what happens, but I'm 30 and I can't do the job that I've been in since I was 18 anymore. I just can't do it, so I'm out. <laughs> 
So going down to my cash envelopes bit, I am still going to put some money in here. I also, if I'm right, I do normally get Christmas money from like my mum, dad and my granddad. So that will probably end up going towards living expenses and stuff. Like my monthly outgoings aren't huge by any means. Like I said, I only very basically need my bills and subscriptions, a little money for my car, my food. Like it's very minimal, but there's a lot of things that I also want. So... I will have enough for three months, hopefully, plus some if I'm just very, very frugal. I'm going to have to have, like, a no-spend November and probably December as well just to get by, but I'm still going to add money into my cash envelopes anyway. So I'm going to do 30 into my fun envelope. Medication is getting 20 because I collected that the other day and all I had left in there was 20. So I just replaced that, then I've got enough for my two medications again. Outings is going to get 10, so at the very least if I do go out and about, which I believe I should be doing um, in November because I'm having a shopping day, so that would be the only day in November I should be allowed to spend anything, but we'll see. Um, that can sort of go towards my outings for the day that I want to do, so I still should be able to go out and do things, but it's going to be a very, very tight budget, so I guess I guess we'll see. Um, camera, I am doing nothing into that because I did take out £100 from that that went towards Christmas because at the minute my camera that I'm filming on, which is what you're watching this through, um, is working fine. It should be okay and if I just, I'm really careful with it, it probably should last me another few years quite easily. And all else fails, I do have my phone. However, my phone is sort of on its back legs as well, so there is a chance I might have to get a new phone beforehand. But we'll see. I'm just really hoping that my business like can really get some good clients in. Like I've got a lot of people that want my help, but it's just now waiting to hear back from them. So I can start like signing contracts and stuff. But some people that have got in contact with me, they're sort of tech phobes, and I think even just doing an email for them is a bit of a struggle. So I guess we'll see how that goes. <laughs> my laptop is getting ten pounds, just so I can keep adding to that. Jodie's wedding, I am going to do another 10 in that, so it's now less than a year until she gets married. And she's obviously going to be having like a hen do of some sort, I'll be buying her a wedding present. There might be other bits and pieces I might need between now and then, so I'm going to start... I say I'm going to start trying to build it up, I'm going to continue building it up, sorry. <laughs> Just so I've still got something in there. And my purse, I'm also going to put in 20 into my purse, even though I've got 35 still in there. I always like to have that little bit of extra in there, and like I said, if... My money that I'm looking at is all digital, so if anything I've got in cash is fine. If it really does come to it, I really don't want to do all of the saving challenges I've done. I'll just empty all the cash out of that and have to use that and then redo them at another point. But yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, and the very bottom is my rollover. So I've got £330 in there at the moment. And I've got nothing to add to it this month because I spent all of my food shopping money bar like £7. And I think I've got £2 left on my spending card left over from the hundred pounds so haven't got anything for that but yep that is where we're at for that side so I'm going to flip the page over and then we've got the digital and sinking funds section so for food I'm going to do 180 as usual and I'm trying to get back into doing meal planning and I have found with meal planning I am definitely spending less but this month there was a couple I think actually I said there was a couple I think there was one takeaway I think I ended up using that came out the food envelope, I think, um, because my envelope for takeout got emptied and I was like, oh no, I want a Subway, and I got the Subway even though I had no money left technically for it, but <laughs> in my defence, I had a cold for like two weeks, that went away for a glorious day and a half, and then got Covid now. I was still negative on Saturday when I tested because I had such a bad cold, I was like, it's got to be Covid, there's no way I've not got it. Tested negative, I think, twice in a week and a bit and I was like okay that's cool so I tested Saturday when I got home from work and I felt fine I was like oh, I'll be okay went out Sunday still felt fine but Sunday evening I was like oh no my sore throat's come back I was like oh maybe it's just because I've been out today and I've had like a lot of fresh air all of a sudden maybe my body's just going nope got into work on Monday and I was like quite groggy my head was a bit like dizzy I felt like my head was underwater and I was like Ugh, my cold's come back or it's my chest infection because I seem to get a chest infection every bloody October and it's exactly this time last year I had a chest infection for two weeks so I was like no this is a chest infection again and thought no it's fine 
went to see my friend on Tuesday, woke up this morning and I meant to have been at work actually at the moment that I'm filming this and I thought I'll just do a test while I'm getting ready for work, I'm not going to be in work for like another three hours but I'll do a test so I had it set up on the slide, put my phone on the alarm to remind me to go check it. My alarm went off and I was like, oh yeah, I've got a Covid test. Went over and had to look at it and I was like, there is a very, very faint line on it. Like, it was barely visible, but if you, like, held it in the right light, you could clearly see it. So I sent the photo off to the NHS like I have to do and they verified that, yep, you've got Covid. So I was like, great, I've got to call work, got to call my friend, got to call my colleagues, text my colleagues. We're like, guys, because up at work, if one of us has Covid, they don't really tell us. We sort of have to let everyone else know, so... I instantly called like the th two people that weren't at work at the moment. I was let them know, let one of my girls on my section know and be like, "Hi, because I've been around you for like a week now. You'll need to do a test. I'm not going to be in, so I'm not allowed in for five days. <laughs> so because of that, um, yeah, my food indoors is going to be bigger now because I was relying on eating some meals up at work. Thankfully I've got some bits indoors that I can sort of rustle together for dinner and because I've been confined to my room my sister is having to do all my like meals for me. So she comes upstairs, puts them outside my door, leaves and then I just have to take them and come back in my room and I mean I don't leave my bedroom a lot anyway but like I am confined. <laughs> Went off onto a complete tangent now, I don't even know how I got onto that tangent but anyway, takeout is getting £30. Uh, dining out is getting 40 because I spent 70 last night. Um, Nicola and I went out for a dinner. So yeah, I've had to like uh, the restaurant know and everything because like I said, tested on Saturday and I was negative and I'd, that's the third test I'd done in just over, yeah, just shy of two weeks and it'd all be negative. I was like, oh, I'll be fine. But it's just this morning I woke up and I'd been coughing a lot more. When I woke up this morning I was like, I'll just do a quick test. And lo and behold, so... Yep, everyone's now been informed, but yeah, I'm so annoyed because obviously now I've gone out. Thankfully, Nick, who I was with, tested negative, so she hasn't got it, but I'm so annoyed now. Had I thought to maybe do a test yesterday, but then I felt fine yesterday, so maybe I wouldn't have known, but I woke up this morning and I was like, I feel like death. I was like, great, the chest infection's back. No, nope, not a chest infection, just me getting the plague. Anyway, I digress again. My car is getting 40, so that gets up to 500, so that now should definitely come comfortably cover, get my words out, my insurance, my car tax, my MRT and service, plus a little, but I should be able to put in at least another 40 to 60, maybe even 80 in the next two paydays, just to sort of boost it a little bit more so it's ready, but we shall see. My fuel, I'm going to do 20, so I was actually going to fill up um, when I left work tonight, because I try and normally fill up the week I get paid, because I don't really go anywhere, so my monthly fuel is maybe about £45. i still got like a quarter of a tank, and I was like, the 35 will do, and then when I get paid on Friday, the £20 will go towards it, and I was like, cool, that'll be fine. That's obviously not happening, and now because I've not got to drive for about five days, that will just be as it is, and I'll just have to fill it up next week, so I'll have even more towards it. Toilet Trees is getting nine. Fashion is getting 10 and what did I even buy with my fashion one? Oh yeah, I bought loads of Christmas tops last month. <laughs> I just went on a bit of a manic spree. We went into town and in our pound land they've got a Pep & Co, which is like a cheap clothing brand um, here in the UK. And they've got a bunch of like Christmas tops and Christmas dresses and I was like, oh no, we don't really need them. But I looked at the price and they were like seven, eight, nine pounds ish, like they're all under a tenner and I was like well I think I bought two tops and a dress so <laughs> that all went <laughs> that's when my fashion money went uh, miscellaneous is getting 20 don't remember when most of that went either but um, and Christmas is getting 60 because I've pretty much spent everything I have one present left to get and it is three pence short of that and it's my dad's present and it's one he picked out so he's got that and that'll be all my Christmas shopping done. And then any money I manage to put in in my November pay will slowly start to build it up, hopefully, for next year. That's if I have money. And I do know that for the five days that I'm off work, I'm not getting paid for this now, which is rather irritating. So I'm sort of relying on having that extra little bit for next month. But it is what it is. I can't help that I've now gone and caught it. You know, I've been very careful. Like that. I've gone the whole time since the start of 2020 without catching it, even though I've been around people who have got it. 
I've completely avoided it, but no, had to be me now, didn't it? Bloody autumn 2022 had to be my time. <laughs> Right, Disney is getting 7, my dentist is getting 15 because I'm due to see the dentist in I think January. So I'll need like another £30 in that between now and seeing them. My AVG is getting 7 as well. Um, I've changed Erin Condren goods to planner things because I'm looking at hopefully getting a different planner for next year. In which case I'll then sell my Erin Condren and hopefully get like 50 quid or something back for it because it's not a cheap planner, it's like a designer luxury one. Um, very similar to one that I'm using to do this in. So I've just renamed it to planner things. So I'm only going to pop five in but we'll see what happens from that. Outings is getting 20 so again I've got money to go out and about as and when but it's not going to be lots of money. And for my business until, like I said, I start reaping in the profit from my setup costs, I'm just putting my own money in separately, so that is getting £30. Right, now I've done that, I'm going to go through, pop in all of the brand new totals, and then I shall move on to the cash stuffing portion of the video for you guys. So for my cash envelopes, I've only got £100 to pop in today, so it's not a great deal. But we shall work our way through. So we've got the 70 in there, we're going to add in 30. All well, these ones are bent. That should leave us with 100. So that is 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. Very nice. And again, I'll update all of my trackers off screen because you don't need to see and watch that. <laughs> my medication hasn't got even a penny in it. So that is getting 20. That will pay for my two medications next time. Outings is getting a 10. Have to all be in order, I can't have them facing the wrong way, upside down or anything. <laughs> so that is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 120, 140, 150, 160, 165, 170, 175, 180 pounds. So that combined with that, I think it's 270 on my digital one. That's quite a lot, so that should be plenty to keep me um, going. Camera isn't getting anything, laptop is getting 10. So maybe with um, my Christmas money that I get, I might see if I can combine that with this and get a just a small laptop. Just need something so I can get out and about with it. I don't think like huge or fancy or that like, I can do games on it like I can on my computer because I don't really need that anymore, but yeah, we'll see. So this should also be 180, so it is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180. I don't think you can get anything decent for 180 pounds for a laptop, so I think I wanted to save up about 250 just to get something basic. Then I was gonna go from there, really, so. Right, Jodie's Wedding is getting 10. So that leaves me with 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, and there's five pounding coins. That is then 80 pounds. So I've got myself some um, blue shoes to wear after the wedding. And she's got us the bags and the actual shoes we're wearing as bridesmaid and the dresses. So I don't really know what else I need to get other than like stuff for the hen party and like a wedding present so but yeah at least I've got money in there. So my rollover isn't getting anything, there's 330 in there and my seasonal challenge at the back just in case you're interested because I haven't mentioned it for a while. Um, I had £80 in there, I spent £19.78 at home bargain to the day and the rest of my change went into my penny challenge. So I've got £60 left in there and that is for the rest of autumn. And then when winter hits, I think it's December 21st, with the other three challenges, other three challenges, the other two months of challenges that I've got, um, that'll go 
into the winter one. So that's all done. And all I've got left is £20 to put into my purse. And as I say every time, I'm doing this bit off camera. Just because um, <laughs> I always show my bank details. So I'm just going to pop that in my card. My card in my purse. I know what I'm talking about. My brain isn't working today. So that is all my cash envelopes done. My budget is done. Money's in my purse. That's the end of the old video because... I can't tell you guys, my throat is now hurting because this is the most I've spoken all day because I've literally been on my own in my bedroom. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how I'm going to end the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you are all doing well, that none of you have got the plague like I have. And if you have, I hope you're better soon. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in video again soon. Bye, everyone.